Welcome, folks. In a little different attire than what you normally see me in been in church this morning. And uh, <clears throat> wanted to uh, let everybody know that there's a project called Mountain Relief going on from a uh, church in Randleman, North Carolina called the Midway Wesleyan Church. I'm going to have a, a link posted to their current Facebook page. Uh, they're going to be accepting uh, donations of non-perishable foods to uh, send up this coming Saturday morning to the southern mountains of North Carolina, uh, just south of Asheville in an area called Hendersonville and a community called Flat Rock. We're, uh, we've been in contact with them up there and uh, they have no power. Uh, the water lines, the infrastructure has been wiped out. There's no water, no power, no internet, no phone service. Uh, the ones that uh, are able to communicate is only because of generator use and uh, being able to get to a location where a cell phone does work. We've been in contact with the Bethel Wesleyan uh, church pastor there in Flat Rock. His name is Tim Clark. And uh, he leaves three times a day from the residence to be able to get to a location where his cell phone works. He said it is very bad there. The roads are washed out, bridges are washed out, trees are down everywhere. Uh, entire communities have been uh, swept away. Uh, if you've seen on the internet, a lot of the images, no need to uh, post any of that on this. Uh, you've probably seen the uh, reels on Facebook, YouTube, and other social media platforms. But uh, we're going to be uh, helping uh, deliver these goods. We're now charting a route to be able to get to them. Uh, the object is, is the uh, Midway Wesleyan Church is wanting to fill the bus with non-perishables and to be able to... Uh, transport these up there. Uh, the plan is to leave at 4 a.m. Saturday morning and uh, get there with plenty of daylight left so that these people can uh, get the goods and get back before it gets dark. So uh, we wanted to bring everybody up to speed on what's going on. Uh, it is very, very bad. Uh, uh, if you've never been to anything like this, uh, it's a very dangerous situation. Uh, I did talk to uh, a family member up there and they said that uh, the fire department lost personnel in the uh, rescue attempt due to mudslides. Uh, not sure where this location was, but it was close by uh, the Hendersonville area. I have heard uh, some of the police chiefs and some of the, some of the sheriff's departments talking about how catastrophic this has been. and. Uh, I'm not going to point out which department or agency has said so, but they've had to leave bodies because of the danger of uh, retrieving those, so they've had to leave them behind. Uh, there's people trapped. I'm seeing messages pop up on Facebook uh, where there's 100 and 200 people trapped and they're needing a supply drop. Uh, not sure where this location was at. But uh, the southern mountains, folks, in the eastern part of Tennessee and the uh, southern part are just completely devastated. So uh, if at all possible, some way or another, please provide help to these people. Uh, the website or the Facebook link I'm going to leave you here uh, has a QR code. And uh, you can scan that and donate directly. Uh, they're going to be going to the grocery store here and purchasing food to take up there. Uh, this is legitimate. This is not anything you need to worry about. You can look up the church. They have the Facebook page. You can go to Google Earth. You can see the address, uh, the pastor's name. I'm going to leave his phone number here so that if you need to contact him, his name's Kenneth Davis, Midway Wesleyan Church pastor in Randleman, North Carolina. So they're getting up a getting up a big load. 
If the bus fills, there's pickup trucks that's just gonna haul nothing but essentials like water and canned food, some of the heavier stuff. Uh, don't wanna get the bus overloaded, but uh, we're gonna be going up to assist and help deliver this stuff. So uh, just wanted to bring this to your attention and the uh, information will be following in the description of this video. I, I just hope that uh, everyone sees what's going on and if there's any way possible, we need to all come together and help out our fellow North Carolinians in this very desperate time. Uh, it's not gonna be long. This stuff's gonna start uh, generating a lot of bacteria and things, so uh, you need to consider wipes and hand sanitizer, canned foods, water. And remember, these people have no water, so they're not able to cook with the use of water unless they pour uh, their drinking water, these bottled waters that's going to go up and uh, cook in it. Keep in mind, most of this stuff is going to be cooked on a grill that they have no refrigeration possible. Uh, the few people that uh, had any kind of a, like a Generac unit or anything like that, once that diesel or propane that's used to power their homes is out, that's going to be it because a lot of them can't get into town and uh, so forth. But uh, Pastor Tim up there is uh, going to help get this organized for the distribution. I uh, don't know how they plan on doing that. They may be uh, sending some of it off getting as far as they can get it and then uh, go in on foot or four-wheeler or whatever they have to do. But uh, this was the closest location that we knew of that we could get help to, to be able to move it further by the local people up into the areas that is needing it. So uh, we do know that we can get this stuff to them and, uh, and so forth. But I hope you will consider uh, this and help them appreciate you joining us today remember the link will be in the description thanks for watching